Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday and you know what that means by now, welcome along to episode number 28 of our F122 My Team Career Mode and it is time for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. A Saudi Arabian Grand Prix that will be much different to the previous races we've had because we have, in this was the episode that was filmed right after we'd had the patch that sorted out the AI, I believe it was 1.09 or 1.08. So thankfully, thankfully, we should see an improvement in the AI. You see we're having a look around uh, to see if there's anything we need uh, to can do or can buy and the uh, answer to that question is no. With this being a shorter season, upgrades are going to be at a premium and that, uh, that is fine, we can uh, accept that. We're still the worst team on the grid, so uh, what else needs uh, to be said, shall we say? Let's have a look at the championship, shall we? And Fernando Alonso in the Ferrari leads the way, followed by Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Lance, Hollywood Lance Stroll, George Russell, Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, and Jackie picked up a solitary point in Bahrain, but a solitary point is better than no points, as they say. She had an absolute cracking battle with Yuri Vips uh, towards the end there. Anyway, oh, don't tell me. Yeah, I thought so. Um, how about neither of them? How about neither and how about none? You handled that That's, well. Uh, that, thank you. I know we handled that well, didn't we? We handled that very well, didn't we? Yeah, I know. Go fuck yourself. Anyway practiced and qualified and we will see you for the start of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Let's see if there's been any improvements to the AI. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah. One of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca and one of the biggest ports in the region. And now, host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Perez, Charles Leclerc, and Norris. Hamilton, Ocon, Stroll, and Oscar Piastri. Schwartzman. Magnussen, Mick Schumacher, and Gasly. The governess, Russell, Alex Albon, and Yuki Tsunoda. Yuri Vips, Latifi, Ricardo, and Guan Yu Zhou. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once more by Anthony Davidson. Let's have a chat about Williams. There have been some tweaks to the power unit regulations, of course, and I have to say it doesn't seem, so far at least, that they've been able to keep up. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs, but this is only the first step down a long road of development. And even if they don't maximize their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. OK, now that we've got some good points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Uh, all right. No improvement to the AI as far as uh, qualifying is concerned. P15. Although, to be fair, it was a P15 that, was, uh, that wasn't too bad. Let's, uh, let's be brutally honest. There's the strategy for you all today. One stop. Coming on lap 5. Maybe coming a little earlier. Who knows if we get uh, lucky. Uh, and then all the way to the end on the medium. Should be good. All right, then. Practiced, she went well. Let's see how the race goes. <sighs> All right, then. First race after the patch. Let's Ultimate see what happens. So to each one when you can. I'm hoping it will be... I mean, where are we? P15. Well, I, I don't know. 
I, I, I don't quite uh, know what to make of what's about to happen or what's going to happen. Certainly the way the patch is at the moment, I would say it's not made that much of a difference. But we will find out. If we can scramble off a few points there around this really awfully tricky circuit, and I do mean awfully tricky. Brilliant. If not, then uh, we could be in trouble. Because, don't get me wrong, the Jeddah circuit is good. No threat of rain for the time but, being. But um, I did, because I'm uh, part of a league, um, catches every week on the uh, Shut Your Gob channel. Uh, part of a league, we're having a full season. Um, it's certainly uh, a really tough track. Let's, uh, let's put it like that. But uh, hopefully if I get this out of the way, Australia, then we've got Imola afterwards, and then after Imola I think uh, it, it should be good until we get to Monaco. And then once we get to Monaco, that's when uh, <laughs> that's when we'll see uh, some big boy moves made, I think. Azerbaijan might be a bit fun. I want to see who fucks it first at uh, Azerbaijan. But uh, all right then. <clears throat> Time to settle in. Time to get this race off and going and underway. Reforming the grid, fantastic. As soon as I get this race done, I can bring the clips over, I can start saving them. Which is brilliant, because then that's another week of videos done. What are you doing there, uh, George? Uh oh, she's right behind Mick Schumacher. Oh, she, she knows what she wants to do straight away. She is aiming this car sure right for that gap between Pierre Gasly and Mick Schumacher. That, that tells you how good she is as we get ready to go to the five red lights here at the Jeddah Kanish circuit in Saudi Arabia. Five red lights are out, we're off and underway. With the Ferrari leaders off, oh, I think they're about four or five wide at the uh, front there. But uh, we'll sort it out going into the first corner as Jackie outbreaks a little bit. Everyone free wide with the uh, Alfa Romeo and the Aston Martin. Around the outside of the Aston Martin, she's already up a few places. What, we, have we got yellows already? We have yellows already and the safety car? And why is the safety car out? Well, I know why it's out now. Box, 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 Jackie, we're going to do, we'll do our stop right now. We're going to take our advantage of this right now. Remember, remember Monza? Similar circuit, Monza. Remember our strategy? <laughs> pit now, and the other car that's uh, pitting now as well. I think it was uh, one of the Williams cars, uh, could be uh, Latifi or Albon. But yeah, I went back through the replay and I did not see a single thing that led me to believe why this safety car came out. I really didn't. So I can only imagine some, the FIA saw something. I have uh, haven't a clue, but uh, we're getting ready for the restart here. Max Verstappen will lead them off from Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, your top four. Jackie all the way down in P21 with Nicholas Latifi. But I reckon this is, this is a good strategy. This is a great strategy, a fantastic strategy as well. As we're underway again on lap four into turn one. And th there's a move right there with the... Who's that? That's uh, Ocon. He's already passed uh, Lewis Hamilton. He's trying to run the outside of uh, Hollywoodland Stroll here. Jackie not made any positions up yet. Mick Schumacher's also moved up in position on uh, Robert Schwartzman. They're still side by side. That'll uh, not end well for somebody. In fact, I think, yeah, Schumacher's going to take uh, advantage of that position. Meanwhile, where is she? She's still P21. But she got Guan Yu in front of her, so that should be a uh, position gain. Ooh, a little wide uh, going through that corner. No harm, no foul. And so we head to the bottom of the circuit. This lovely banked hairpin. It's absolutely beautiful, is uh, that hairpin. As uh, we go on to lap number five, we've got Mick Schumacher, Robert Schwartzman. We've got uh, the man Gasly. We've got George Russell as uh, Schwartzman catches Magnussen with his pants around his ankles. That was a great move for P12 uh, there for the, uh, the Russian driver. Absolutely spectacular. Spectacular move there. They, they are all kicking off in front of us. Jackie goes up the inside of Guan Yu. 
And that's one position. One. Only a few more to go. <laughs> he says to himself. Uh, as Schwartz has got Magnussen still over his rear end. So it's still got Russell there free wide behind uh, Robert Schwartz. With his uh, Gasly goes for the move on uh, Russell. You've got Schwartz and Magnussen side by side. They are literally going to be side by side through these uh, corners, aren't they? This is great race. This is going to be... I think when Magnussen uh, eventually hangs it up, as uh, he retakes P12 from uh, Schwartzman, this is going to be uh, uh, certainly the uh, new generation. You got uh, Mick Schumacher, you got uh, Schwartzman, you've got. Oh, so that was Mick Schumacher, not uh, Magnussen, because there's Magnussen, he's blown up! Ah, that's going to be another safety car, isn't it? Ah, that's going to put uh, pay to plans, isn't it? Unless. Can they get that out of the way? Uh, I think they can. You might just be looking there. As we go to uh, Alex Albon, who's got Yuki Sonoda side by side through this really fast wiggly section. Wiggle, wiggle. In oh my god, you don't be side by side through there, or do you? There you go. Position gain for the Mangazi. Look who's coming. Pretty quick behind them. The pink and black machine is coming. She's already around. Uh, is that Norris? I think that's the nurse, Ricardo. I do apologise. Oh, free wide with uh, Latifi and Norris. Ricardo, no, that's Albon and Ricardo. Sorry, because there's Latifi behind him, and uh, Ricardo goes straight into the lane. He's out of here. Uh, we've got oh, we've got loads in the lane. Oh, loads of pit stops are happening. You love to see stuff like that. As uh, we've got, uh, wow, look at this. We have got who have we got here? Oh, that's uh, Latifi and uh, Joe. They're side by side through. Uh, this complex P18 uh, this is for I'm sorry I'm just a bit uh, distracted by Jackie at the moment I, I want this uh, strategy of hers to work out brilliantly for her and uh, I certainly hope it does but meanwhile let's move on to lap number six Jackie now up into P6 after all those stops hunting down and chasing Yuki Sonoda going into the last corner that is what you call textbook Yuki tries to close the door but the pink and black car is there Give a P6. Thank you very much. Goodbye. We're gone. See you later. As uh, Alex Albon, he's in P8. He's got the TV behind him in P9. Guan Yu's in P10. Come on, Guan Yu. Helicopter going overhead. That's not what uh, we need to know. We've got the Williams side by side. I think that's Albon in front of uh, Nicholas Latifi. That's P8 for the man. Dunley, can you hear that helicopter out there? I don't know what kind it is. It's probably a police helicopter or something. It's definitely not uh, a Chinook. As uh, who we got here? We got Piastri and Leclerc. Oh, a bit wide deep in there for Piastri, but I think he's going to get to where. No, he's not Leclerc. He's going to maintain P13. The Monogas driver is uh, having a mare in his first season with uh, Alfa Romeo. As uh, we go to the battle for P16, George Russell has found himself behind the sole remaining Aston Martin and Mick Schumacher down the front straight. This might not work they're two mercedes engine cars and mercedes factory team should pass mercedes customer team but mercedes factory team is not getting past mercedes customer team although why that's happening there you are. now he's uh, got the move done p16 for kingsland's second best driver as uh, we look oh my god look at this red bull all over the back of our car, that's Verstappen who has made his stop. He's in P8. He's going to go up the inside of Guan Yu Joe for P7. And he's got the two Williamses in front of him. So if my maths works out as we go a little further into lap and Verstappen is on a charge. Verstappen is on a charge. I think he's realised what's happened here. He's been caught with his pants around his ankles. Guan Yu may uh, try and make this free wide. He's got uh, one of the Ferraris behind him. That's, uh, oh, that, uh, I think someone's lost a uh, wing there. Did Guan Yu lose a wing then? I hope he didn't. Uh, although Carlos Sainz is, uh, I think that's the Ferrari that's uh, gone into the lane. And he's taken uh, one U with him. So, yeah, I think there was a bit of damage there. He's got the Stappen on the inside of the TV. That's uh, that move done. As uh, we go to Hollywood Land Stroll with Charles Leclerc. This is the uh, battle as we move on to lap number eight for P10. Literally everywhere you look here at uh, Saudi Arabia, it's action, action, action. And that's uh, what we like to see side by side, the Monogast driver and Hollywood Lance Stroll. 
and that is going to be P10 for the Monogastra. Or is there a Stroll going to hang it around the outside? He's going to hang it around the outside. Give fair play to Hollywood Land Stroll here for hanging it around the outside. He's going to keep P10. Don't ask us how, but he has. As uh, Verstappen is now right on the back of Nicholas Latifi for P5. And I'm hiccuping. And Verstappen around the outside. See you later. See you later. That's uh, the difference in tyres right there. The difference in tyres. And it's scary, isn't it, folks? It's very, very scary. As uh, Perez and Albon are locking horns for P7. And uh, that was easy for uh, Sergio. Much easier than it should have been. We got, uh, is that Ricardo behind them? I think it might be Ricardo. He's going to have a, a go down into the hairpin, I think. Yes, he is. Oh, no, actually, that's that yellow helmet of Lando Norris, the quadrant colours. And uh, thank you very much. Wow, that was uh, done before it even got started. As uh, Leclerc, Leclerc's going backwards. <laughs> I don't think this move to Alfa Romeo was right for Leclerc. I really don't. Because they're, oh my God, Ocon. Ocon almost into the back of Stroll. What's he thinking? What is he thinking? Lord knows uh, what he's thinking. I, I don't even think uh, Ocon even knew, but uh, now he's uh, really done. Oh, Leclerc locked it up. See you later. And there goes uh, the Haas. Uh, I do believe that is the Haas of Yuri, uh, Oscar Piastri there, because uh, here's Mick Schumacher. This is uh, still on lap eight, coming up to start lap number... Or is it still? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Because the, these laps, they uh, they don't uh, really know. But uh, we now have Gasly in P13 ahead of the uh, young German driver. I think it might bring him uh, to the team. What do we all uh, say there? On to lap, the next lap. Nicholas Latifi is in P4 now. Go Tifi is living up to his name as uh, Perez is all over him. But Latifi locks it up and uh, pushes it. Oh, bit sparkage flying then. Didn't want to uh, see that as uh, Perez is off into the distance. And, but here comes Latifi. He's bringing that William uh, McLaren with him. Nicholas Latifi, ladies and gentlemen, is making a fight. Oh, well, I say he's making a fight if he's locked up. <laughs> and there goes Norris for uh, P4 and P5. As uh, we look at Lewis Hamilton, who's coming, uh, who's got Hollywood Land Stroll going around the outside of him. Speaking of uh, drivers that have really struggled this uh, opening couple of races, Lewis Hamilton, and we saw this in F1 uh, 20, Hamilton's AI just declined so badly. Even when we brought him into Chase Liner, he just declined so badly, but then had great races. So uh, what do you say to that? I don't think you can say uh, anything to that. Let's uh, open this Dr. Pepper. What's the worst that could happen? Said uh, nobody ever. Stroll around the outside, but uh, onto lap uh, 10. You're not seeing things, folks. Remember that early pit stop we did? <laughs> Jackie's in the lead again, but she's got Verstappen coming at a rate of knots. There he is, the... Uh, the 2021 champion. Oh, I hope uh, nothing happens here. It's Guan Yu. Guan Yu's making a move. Hello. It's it's only for P20, but he's uh, going to get around the outside of Alex Albon here. Go on, Guan Yu. Yes, get stuck in there, son. That's what we like to see. We like to see Guan Yu get stuck in there as we go for the 250 milliliter can of Dr. Pepper. And we ask the question, Dr. Pepper... What's the worst that can happen? It can taste like crap. That's the worst that could happen. There you are. Serious question. Cold or room temperature fizzy pop? I don't think there's a difference, to be honest. I, I honestly don't. Anyway, coming on to lap number 11. Piastri is on a charge. He's uh, getting past uh, Esmer Ocon. Free wide with Ocon and Hamilton. He's uh, the young Aussie. Oh, you did things you never thought you would see. Look at this train we have got going here. I mean, Jesus Christ. Literally, positions could change in the blink of an eye here. We've got, uh, I've got to try this. We've got Stroll, Hamilton, Piastri, Ocon. I believe that's Leclerc. And then we've got George Russell behind them. 
Jesus wept, guys. Get it sorted. Sort it out, Goose Lord, as uh, my friend Tico would say as he's uh, watching this video with uh, Mick Schumacher trying to go in the outside of uh, the Mangasly. And that's for P13. Or is that... For, yes, it is for P13. I, I'm getting used to calling these uh, by their nicknames again. Hollywoodland Stroll, the Mangasly. Big time... Uh, no, big time was Devon Butler. Uh, but Devon Butler's... Uh, no longer around. I should call the TV Go TV, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's call him and start calling him Go TV. As um, we got Leclerc looking up the inside of Yuri. Uh, is that Yuri? No, it's Piastri. That's for P10. And uh, up the inside of Piastri, starting to fall backwards into the clutches of George Russell. See you uh, later, says uh, the Monogast driver. But speaking of see you later, uh oh. It's time to unleash the B word. Blackin! <laughs> oh, God, oh, God almighty. And Jackie will just escort that uh, Dutch driver to the outside of the track. Thank you very much. Keep hold of that position for the moment as Piastri launches a dive bomb at the inside of the Claire. Jesus, H, your mother of mighty. Everyone do the north, south, east, west thing. Because uh, that would Piastri coming in the day late and a dollar short. Hamilton and Stroll have disappeared up the road. Leclerc has run wide again, and that's going to let uh, Kingsland's second-best driver, George Russell, in. Oh, I, I really don't think that was the move for uh, young Mr. Uh, Leclerc there, as uh, Danny Ricciardo is uh, struggling in P17. He's trying to get past Yuri Vips for P16. Hey, Yuri, how's that, uh, how's the, how's that hat working out for you now, Yuri? Huh? you got Schwartzman in front of you. That didn't sound right, Schwartzman. No, that sounded better. Schwartzman. Does, does sound, doesn't sound a Russian name, does it? Oh, well. <laughs> Mistakes were made, Yuri. Mistakes were made. Uh, on to lap uh, number 12. And the charge of Daniel Ricciardo continues as he's looking to get past Robert Schwartzman. Who had, has Robert Schwartzman lost his wing? Or was that just... Uh, no, it's just how the graphics uh, are looking. It's just uh, how the graphics are looking, folks. No need to panic. No need to panic. It's all good. Robert uh, Schwartzman still has his right wing. He's side by side with Danny Ricardo through this really fast section down to this high speed chicane. And uh, they're still side by side. I mean, Jesus Christ, lads, sort it out. Yuri Vips is going to overtake them both into the last corner. You watch now. Yeah, here we go. Free wide. <laughs> Free wide. Oh, dearie, there goes Yuri, and Yuri's now going to take Schwartzman. <laughs> no, he's not. And thank God he didn't. Meanwhile, oh, God. It's, it's, oh, I don't want to look. He's trying around the outside again, he's Verstappen, but uh, here we are. Last of the late breakers. Escort him to the outside of the corner. Oh, my God, he almost hit the wall where he crashed in 2021. That would have been a, a disaster as we go side by side. Jackie's got DRS. She's got DRS. Here comes that Ferrari of Carla Sainz. Keep an eye on that Ferrari as Jackie dives it into turn one. And she keeps the lead as we're on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. And the foot is doing the old horn of bouncing up and down. Oh my God, is she going to do it again? But if she does it again, this time she's going to beat the Sapham. As George Russell goes up the inside of Piastri, or sorry, around the outside of Piastri. I think George Russell's just up P10 and broke Piastri's hearts and hopes and dreams. And Piastri's thinking about coming back, but it's uh, not going to happen. As uh, we go back to Yuri Vips and Robert Schwartzman. This is the fight for P15. To be fair, I don't care about the fight for P15. I care about the fight for P1. Because my foot is going a mile a minute. And it is going a mile a minute. And my knee, hand is starting now to tap my knee. I don't know if you can hear it. That is my fingers tapping my kneecap. It is really getting stressful. It is really getting out of control. Carla Sainz and Sergio Perez are starting to join the battle. Lando Norris is not too far behind. If she could make it through the final corner, come on girl. Somebody had his strategy hat on. 
just hold on to the line if you've got enough ERS use it it's gonna be a drag race it's gonna be a bloody victory get in <laughs> El Numero Uno, baby. El Numero Uno. Fantastic work from the girl. And I probably woke up half the neighborhood. I've woke up myself, I know that. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well, though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? Ah, the take that walk in once again, so girl. <laughs> Somebody had his strategy hat on. A brilliant performance from them all. You know, as soon as that early safety car comes out, somebody had his strategy hat on. And I probably deafened you all with my uh, screams of come on. Oh, somebody reminded me of this in the, uh, when we won the Italian Grand Prix. <laughs> somebody reminded me of this as we spray the champagne. As we do, hey Trent, I didn't forget this time. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Today's performance means that Max Verstappen now owns top spot in the Drivers' Championship. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the Drivers' Table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your Driver of the Day? I have to give it to the Governess. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. Let's move on to the Constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. Another team that excelled today were Williams, who made further progress up the table. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very yeah. soon. I hope we uh, see you very soon. P15 to P1. P1, baby. 25 points in the bag. Put the finger to the mouth. That's what we're talking about, babies. Woo! <laughs> She beat off, uh, well, she didn't beat him off, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't go down that way. Nicholas Latifi, P20 to P7, go TV! Coming in uh, absolutely hot, and uh, one DNF, Kevin Magson, Guan Yu, P20 from P22. We're going to have a, have a word about that, because um, there's a girl in the lead that uh, won the race. So, uh, that is the standard we expect of you there, Mr. China. Well, I would convey my uh, my true feelings out right now, but it's uh, ten past seven in the morning and everyone else is still asleep. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, a satisfactory get in, get in, dub, that'll do. Uh, Eighty thousand Guan Yu. I tell you what, Guan Yu's making a, a nice uh, chunk of money for us. Three three million in the kitty. It's what uh, what we do love to see. I'm solid at the moment. Yes, I am very aware that uh, uh, go away the the with the marketing. Back into the team. Please go away with the marketing, for the love of God. Right, let's see what we can put in here. Well, that's going in. Everything here look, it does look like it has positive effects, so uh, it's going to be tough, but definitely the funded team event was going in, as was the uh, secondary sponsor. And then uh, I think we'll put in some sim training for Guan Yu. That is uh, what we will do. Yeah, we're still the worst team, but uh, the worst team just went and um, competed with the uh, with the best, didn't they? Ergo, the, the best may go and eat uh, proverbial. And eat proverbial very nicely. I don't want to uh, dwell on the, the fact that we just won, but uh, guess what, guys? We just won. And that's what we're talking about. Did she get... No, she didn't get the fastest lap, did she? Because uh, she already had that point from Bahrain. Anyway... 
Thank you all for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, if you subscribe, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. We will see you on Friday for the next F122 episode. See you tomorrow for F1 Manager. In the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. See you tomorrow for F1 Manager. See you on Friday for F1.